Posim Privet. Welcome to my channel, welcome to this video, and it's time for a Russian update. Um, first, I want to start with my statistics. Um, I think, uh, okay, so I decided to, I think it's time to give an update because there have been significant realizations um, with Russian. Um, of course, it's always in relation to Portuguese and French, the other two languages that I'm also learning. Um, and so for Russian, although I started in December of 2021, I only have 617 hours of Russian and I know that's because when I started Russian um, I was already um, in the process I was already learning um, Portuguese and that's why I did not give a lot of time to Russian um, because Portuguese was actually also a pretty new language at that time. I only had six months of Portuguese when I started um, Russian. And, well, um, I don't regret doing that because I like um, knowing, I like learning them together. But I have to also accept, I mean, recognize that the reason why I'm not as fluent as I am in Portuguese um, at the, with the amount of time that I spent in with Russian um, in terms of days in calendar days but not in hours because I already have I already have a thousand more than a thousand hours in Portuguese but in Russian I only have right now 617 hours and I think there is a possibility that my French would surpass Russian at some point because it's just easier for me to um, watch French films uh, and even read French um, content because it's in first it's in the Latin alphabet and it's um, I mean it's also a romance language like Portuguese and the pronunciation is not I mean it's not difficult for me to read and think that we're how to pronounce that word and that word will be correctly interpreted in my mind um, so even at the start I, I knew that Russian will take uh, I estimate probably three to four years of Russian before I will be completely comfortable at the level that I want to be comfortable in. Um, that's to say maybe a B1 or maybe um, to be able to watch movies and really understand um, native content not a hundred percent because even in Portuguese I don't understand a hundred percent but it's easier for me to um, for context clues so okay going back to the statistics of I have 617 hours of Russian as of the recording of this video and usually it's uh, a week be between my recording and posting um, and then I have 655 known words on the app link queue it's now called link queue but I, I, I'm just used to calling it link l-i-n-g-q uh, so 655 known words and 617 total hours so what else have I done in the language since the last time um, I've watched the the US Hollywood series um, the Americans and it's not 
a it's it's a story it's a series about russian spies so it's predominantly in english but the scenes the movie i mean the every episode would contain i think at least 30 percent um russian dialogue um i don't understand everything and of course i have like the portuguese subtitles because i watch even um english shows i do put the portuguese european portuguese um subtitles just so i can be just to be able to make the connection um it helps um it helps with um pattern recognition i think and it would be best of course with a dub but anyway so the yes again going back to the americans it contains authentic russian dialogue um these actors i think are at least maybe russian or i think they they speak russian fluently and next is what else okay i am trying to read more because i realized that if i i have been doing a lot of passive passive listening but the thing is um with passive listening most of the time it's all gibberish unless i recognize the words so i think moving forward i need to dedicate at least 30 minutes of my time to actually reading transcripts whether it's on link or um just the pdf file um i started actually i am a patreon of in russian from afar but i haven't been actually utilizing my um, benefits as a patron a patron of patreon on patreon um because i only recently started downloading transcripts and audio files and then importing that onto link so i can read the transcript um recognize the words and then listen to it i think i haven't been utilizing it enough and um looking back even with portuguese i spent the first 600 hours just a uh, majority probably i could say 70 percent of the time just passively listening to the same probably fifth maybe 15 different pod um, videos um over and over again i think with um russian i need to do the same but really read the transcript of each thing that I'm listening to because I find that my reading has not improved that much um, based on my personal observation and my personal um, assessment of myself. Um, so that's what I'm going to be doing moving forward. Um, I think an achievement for me would be to actually um, move on from the first because this book, Short Stories for Beginners, has I think one, two, I oh know. Um, wait, it's only a mini. Uh. Oh, it has a lot of stories, and I've only started reading um three of them i mean two of them for a second two of them and i think before i make an, my next um update i would like to be able to at least read through the entire book and probably go read the intermediate one even if i don't understand everything but I will try to actually um, finish reading everything uh, because to be I mean to be able to increase my vocabulary 
and then this book arrived finally Dostoevsky's um, Prisuplini i Prisuplini i Nakazani Crime and Punishment and then I read through the um, notes on this edition of the edition of this text it's actually not the entire original it's not entirely the original book it's actually a condensed version because I realized like it is short I mean it's not that thick for a um, parallel text book because you only have so many words in a page because you're sharing half of it with English and a lot of the um, translation uh, I mean it's like a dictionary um, dictionary like for example the word to strike is parajat um, parajit parazit is to strike and then um, stra is fear and they have it here I mean this book has it here um, I started reading the first three pages and it's slow but I am enjoying it um, what I do with this one is I read um, per sentence and then um, probably guess through context what this is trying to say and then I would read the English and then go back to reading um, I don't know I mean I can't enjoy it as as I'm enjoying the novels that I'm reading in Portuguese but being able to recognize some of the words um, is satisfying and then although I don't remember everything that I, I mean I don't memorize and know exactly what this means but I think if we're talking about the concept of extensive reading and extensive use of the language which is what um, Steve Kaufman the um, the founder of link and Ollie Richards he wrote um, he's the he wrote the, uh, all of these I mean he sells these short stories and uh, lot of languages um, so basically what their theory is being able to read in a language extensively even if you don't really understand 100% of what you're reading which is how I started reading in in all my other I mean in English um, especially because it's not I mean it's a language that I use every day I watch and read I watch and I read but if I did not probably read a lot my vocabulary wouldn't have been as huge as the vocabulary that I have right now and basically what they're saying is that as long as so long as you read a lot and you enjoy because you enjoy reading your exposure to the language would just keep building even if even if like you're learning subconsciously because you're just absorbing a lot of the content so that is my Russian update for this video and I would probably make another update um, maybe a month or two or maybe I think maybe two or three months from now or if at least I have feedback on some of the chapters of these books so that's it for now and thank you for watching this video Paka paka.